Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizzish.com and today's video tutorial is going to be on installing or connecting your website with Google's Webmaster Tools. So Google's Webmaster Tools, here's what it is basically. It's a free service Google offers that allows you to connect and verify that your website, that you're the owner of your website and then Google gives you pre uh, some pretty cool tools to look at your site and analyze. Um, the main thing, I don't really want to go into this to say here's how you should use Google tools other than just setting it up once. After you set it up once, you're gonna, there's two things that are going to happen. You're going to be able to log in and see a lot of good data on your website. And secondly and most important really, you're going to be able to see or you're going to be able to connect your website through what's called a sitemap with Google. That means every time you do a posting, Google is immediately notified about it. This is really powerful for SEO and just for getting more traffic to your site because the quicker Google knows about new content that you put on your site, which means the faster they're going to crawl it, which means the faster they're going to index it. And the more they keep coming to your site often is the more likelihood that they're going to make that your site's going to grow faster in the rankings. I just now summed up a very complex point, but in general that point remains. So anyhow though, so here's where you have to go. Go to google.com forward slash webmaster, the way you see it here. So here it is, here's how it's spelled. Go to www.google.com forward slash webmaster. And then on this section here, it's going to ask you to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to my account that I'm setting up for this. You may have to sign up if you haven't, but basically just get, a, get an account. That's the whole point. So once you're here, there's only a few things that we're going to have that we're going to have done. The first one is right here, right at the start. Welcome to Webmaster Tools. Click on Add a Site. And what you're going to want to do is put your site URL. See the way it tells you an example? So let's say I was going to do tizzish.com. I would do it just like that. Hit Continue. And now it's going to tell you that the site is not verified. It's going to ask you, how do you want to verify the site? Here's the easiest thing you can do. This section here, add a meta tag to your site's home page. Here's what you have to do in this instance. Click on this button. They're going to give you this code here. You're going to copy this code. Copy this, this code. And now go to your Tizish control panel or your, your blog control panel. And by the way, this, this is with any system as long as you're using WordPress. But with your blog control panel, you want to go here to your dashboard and then now when you're logged into your blog there's gonna be two sections and this is now if you're a Tizish client okay uh, if you're a Tizish client here's what you do uh, you're we use the thesis theme for your site so what you're gonna have to do is scroll down to one of the following you're gonna scroll down to a section that says thesis theme thesis options and you're going to click on the word thesis options or here's the other alternative you may you may have a section that doesn't say thesis options but instead says site options so instead of saying thesis options it might say site options in, in that case here's what it'll look like for you you'll have a section that looks like this thesis and it says site options okay we're doing the same thing, you just might have a different layout. Okay, so under site options, here's what you ought to do. And I'm going to show you as well under thesis. Let's keep it in order actually. So here I am back at the thesis options. What you're going to do is go to the section here that says stats, software, and scripts. Okay, here's what you need to do with this. Under stats, under you're gonna have a column under stats, software, and scripts called header scripts. Hit the plus sign, and all you need to do at this point is copy and paste that code from the webmaster account into your header scripts. That's it, just like that. And now what you're gonna do there is just click on the save button. Our save button says Tizish Rocks. Yours most likely says save button. So just click on the save button, then you're all set. I'm not going to save it since we already have an account and I don't need to do it but all you need to do is click on the save button and you're set. 
Now, there's one more item you need to do. Let me show you for, the, for those of you that have a different version of the layout. For those of you that have the layout under Site Options, yours is under the section called Additional Scripts. Click on the plus sign, and then same thing exists here. You're just going to copy and paste the code into this section here. And then after you do that, all you're going to do is click on the Save button, or R says Tizish Rocks, yours will say Save button or something to that extent. Just click on that and you're all set. All right, so that completed the first section of adding this. And after you add that and save it to your site, you could then click on the verify button. Okay? Now, after you click on verify, you're all done. But there's one more quick thing we should do, and we're done with this setup. So I'm going to click do this later just because I'm doing the demo and I've already done this on my site. Okay, so here's what you need to do now. Now you need to click into the site. And when you click into your site, this is the page you'll see. The one you just now saw two seconds ago was an error. So this is the page you're going to see. And on this site, this section here, I'm not going to go over all this, but this is just showing you how you get a lot of data from this as you start using the site. They show you things like what keywords are people using that find your site, what li uh, the links pointing to your sites and which pages and so forth. And um, now, here's the main thing I really want you to do. The, on the only thing, focus on setup we need to add your site map okay if you don't know what a site map is that's okay just do what I'm showing you in this video because your site has one with us if you're not with Tizish at this time then whoever did your website ask them what is my site map address and here's what you have to do under site configuration click the plus sign then click on site maps now you're gonna come to a section like this in this section click on submit a site map you won't see this information here. This is already here showing you I've done mine. So what you need to do is click on submit a sitemap and then what you need to type in is exactly this sitemap.xml just like that and then click on submit sitemap. After you've done that you're all set. You've set up your Google Webmaster account and you've verified it and then you've connected your sitemap. So what's gonna happen now with your website every time that you publish a new article whether it's a page whether it's a blog post anytime you update edit your articles Google is immediately notified because you've now connected your website sitemap with Google and what your sitemap is a sitemap is just basically the location of your site here I'll show you the Tizish sitemap right now the sitemap is basically one part of your site that lists all of your postings so here's my here's the Tizish sitemap see how it has by month by category and so forth well yours will have the same thing so basically it's just a destination that all your users or that the search engines as well as users can see where all the where all your uh, websites content is ho is housed so anyhow so just type in submit sitemap sitemap.xml as you see it here click submit and you're all set okay um, after doing this you don't have to come back in the system anymore really uh, this is just a one-time setup, all right? So if you have any questions, email me at training at tizish.com and let me know what you're emailing me in regards to. So that way I know which video and I could help you. Or if you happen to see something that was different on my tutorial than what you're seeing on your screen, let me know as well. Anyhow, good luck and I encourage you all to do this for your sites. This makes a humongous difference in terms of your ranking and how fast your site can grow. All right, that's it. Take care.